Alex Sitz uh, ended 2-1 to City tonight against Cambridge and you got the winning goal. I'm sure you're absolutely over the moon, not only for the goal, but the fact that it's your first in the best part of two years now. Yeah, um, I, I don't really know what to say. I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, obviously, to, to play the way we've played tonight, um, it, it was a, a really enjoyable game uh, from personal view. And uh, obviously, a, as a team, we moved the ball brilliantly at times. and. Uh, we had that, that cutting edge that uh, we haven't had for the last couple of games, so uh, uh, really happy and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really good result and obviously on a personal level it's, uh, it's a huge thing for me to, to get that goal and uh, kind of get that monkey off my back. I, I wanted to try and get a goal as soon as I could once I got back playing because uh, the longer you go without scoring, the, the longer you question yourself, but um, I, th I think a big thing for me tonight as well. Um, I think I've removed some of the question marks over my head fitness-wise. Obviously, playing 90 minutes Saturday and 90 minutes tonight, um, it was a big question mark over my head whether I'll be able to cope physically. And uh, thankfully, I've come through both uh, without any problems and, and felt quite good. So, um, getting a goal and playing 90 minutes Saturday and Tuesday, it's, uh, it's a big thing for me. I'm really pleased. Yeah, so you look particularly sharp and you the way you were linking up with your teammates. I mean, I'm sure, you know, wherever you played your football, you weren't played many performances quite like that, I wouldn't have thought. No, um, I mean, the first five or ten minutes were a bit slow, but once we got the ball down and started moving it, it was, uh, it was a, a joy to play in and uh, I'm not sure how it looked from the sideline, but if it looked as good as it felt being out there, uh, the, the, the fans had, uh, had been very happy. Um, but no, I mean, it's one of the most complete, complete performances I've played in uh, from a footballing perspective. We, we're solid at the back, we moved the ball brilliantly and we had that cutting edge that we didn't quite have on Saturday and uh, something we worked on in training uh, yesterday. Obviously, um, try, getting into good positions and, and trying to work on the end product and we managed to do that tonight, so it's really pleasing. And talk us through your goal in particular, it was just nicked away in, in midfield, wasn't it? And it was such a quick break. Yeah, I mean that, that's exactly what we worked on yesterday, getting in uh, uh, in the hole behind the, front, the, the back four and, and breaking as fast as you can and getting runners and, and that's what we did and uh, Graham's played me a nice pass across the box and uh, yeah, I, I took a touch and I, I think I took it quite early which maybe caught the keeper a little bit but no, I mean uh, both goals tonight are, uh, were really pleasing from a, a personal and a team point of view, the, the football leading up to both goals was... Uh, spot on and I think the, the keeper might have thought I'd gone a bit too wide as well I don't think he was expecting me to take the shot but uh, luckily I, it, it went in the bottom corner and we won the game which is the, the main thing